Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate a simple Cloudmersive Power Automate connector which validates if a file input is executable or not. While most executables we interact with are typically from safe, trusted locations, this file type is a particularly easy one to hide viruses and malware within, so it's essential to take stock of executables whenever they enter our system from unknown locations. For security reasons, I unfortunately can't demonstrate with a live executable file on my machine, so I'm going to instead test with an inert text file and walk you through the response body. With permission from your security administrator, you can possibly make use of an iCAR file to test this yourself. That's totally up to you. The first thing I'm going to do is set up an instant cloud flow and elect to trigger it manually. This is the same setup I use for 99% of our demonstrations, and it's the easiest way to control my data from start to finish. Once I give my file a name, I'm clicking Create and heading to the Flow Diagram page. From here, my first task is to grab the test file from my SharePoint ecosystem. To do that, I'm using the SharePoint Get File Content action, which will require me to elect my site address and then use my file picker to find my file. Once the file name populates in the second field, I'm ready to set up the executable validation step. To get my Cloudmersive connector, I'm going to click New Step and type Cloudmersive into the search bar. From here, I'm going to click on the Cloudmersive file processing connector with the purple logo from the list of options below. Within that actions list, I can search for validate if a file is executable or just type executable and the correct connector will come up. Please note that if it's your first time using this connector, you'll be prompted to enter your Cloudmersive login details at this stage. Even though all these connectors say premium, you can easily use them for free by registering a free account on our website, cloudmersive.com. Free accounts will provide a free tier API key valid for 800 API calls per month. And once you enter that in here, you won't need to worry about doing it again in the future. Within the validate executable action, I now simply need to parse my file content from the previous step and provide my file name in the second field. I can easily use dynamic content for the former requirement, and for the latter, I just need to copy and paste the file name manually. Alternatively, I can parse dynamic content by adding an additional get file metadata step, which I've refrained from doing here for the sake of time. Now that the flow is fully configured, all that's left to do is test the flow and check out the response body. After clicking save, I'm clicking test in the upper right corner of the page and validating my connections. Once that's complete, I'm clicking run flow and waiting a few seconds for the flow to finish running. Once I see green check marks abound, I can open up the connector action and take a look at the response. As expected, the validation step has correctly identified that my file is not in fact executable. However, there's more to the response than a simple validation step. The action has also identified that the file is thankfully not password protected, which is a big red flag for files coming from unknown sources, and it has not detected any errors or warnings within the file either. If you were to run a test with a badly formatted or dangerous executable file, you'd see a host of errors and warnings associated with it, and you could then use those warnings as dynamic content to stop your flow immediately. You could also send this file straight to a Cloudmersive virus scan and connector action as well and find out exactly what type of danger might be hiding within it. With my test complete, we've reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and as always, please like and subscribe for more Cloudmersive Power Automate demonstrations in the near future.